<laughs> okay, let's pray. Hands together, close your eyes. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you that we can come together and learn from your word. I pray, Lord, that you'll help the children to understand. And also, Lord, I pray that you'll uh, bless them in the games later. Help them to have a good attitude, Lord, and help them to have fun. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Mm, say amen. 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 Okay. What did we learn about last week? Last week. Oh, I've got to start giving prizes for who can remember what happened last week. Last week, last week, last week, last week, last week. What did we learn about last week? Oh, do you remember? Jesus. We learned about Jesus, very good. We did learn about Jesus last week. What did we learn about Jesus? Do you remember? Do you remember? How he died on the cross. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what he's doing here. That's right. But we remember, what did we learn about? None like the Lord. Nothing like the Lord. So this is, uh, was our verse from last week. Let's uh, read it together. You ready? Second Samuel chapter 7, verse 22. Wherefore thou art great, O Lord God, for there is none like thee. Neither is there any God beside thee, according to all that we have heard with our ears. Of everything we've heard, there's nobody like God. That's what we learned about last week. There's nothing like God. Remember we did the balloon? God is the balloon. It came last week, got a helium balloon. And no matter what we put underneath that balloon, God's always at the top. That was a great activity, wasn't it? Well, this week, we're going to talk about teams. Teams. We're going to play some games later. In the games here, you guys don't get to choose your teams. We choose them for you. Many times in life, you get to choose your team. Choose what team you're going to play on. So what's, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the memory verse for this week comes from 1 Kings 18 to 21. 18, chapter 18, verse 21. 21. I'll read it first and I'll explain what it says. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him not a word. And maybe my kids know where this passage is from. You remember when Elijah went against the prophets of Baal and he addressed the people? And what is he saying here? He told them, How long hold ye between two opinions? Who knows what that means? Simon. How long will you argue between two questions? Yeah, it's kind of like saying, How long are you going to take before you decide between the two teams? Right? What are the teams here? The Lord, be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. Do you guys know who Baal is? Yeah, that's another word. Well, that's a, a false god that represents Satan, doesn't it? Baal. So these are the two teams. And he's saying, how long are you going to take before you decide between these two? Now, which one should they decide? Which one's the right one? What do you think? Go on. The Lord. The Lord, very good. Oh, so you had a 50-50 chance because you chose the right one, right? The Lord, that's right. You don't want to choose the wrong team. All right, let's read it together. You ready? First Kings chapter 18, verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people <laughs> answered him, Not a word. Okay, so this one, you probably can't memorize this just in one sitting like the other, the other short ones. It's starting to get a bit harder now. So these ones, you're actually going to have to work on if you want to memorize them. 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 21. Now, we make a lot of choices in our life, don't we? 
right? We may you know, choose between different things that we like. Maybe it's uh, colors. You've got blue and orange here. Who prefers blue? Who prefers orange? Oh, see, you've got to choose. Oh, look, sometimes people are changing their mind, you know, changing their mind based on what other people are thinking. Yeah, sometimes people do that when it comes to God, doesn't it? <laughs> blue, so who put your hand up if you like blue better? Put your hand up if you like orange better. No, better, you can't, you can't choose both. See, some people think that they can serve God and Baal. They can't do both. <laughs> You've got to choose your team. Okay, what's another thing that people choose? Maybe it comes down to colours. <laughs> oh, what's this? Sports or crafts? This is like a kid doing art here. Who prefers, put your hand up if you like art better. Who likes doing art more than they like doing sports? Maybe Sarah? So everyone else is sports, put your hand up if you like sports better. <laughs> okay, all right, let's look at another one. Ooh, sometimes it's not easy to make choices, is it? Side between chocolates or sour gummies. Ooh, let's see. Who likes chocolates better? Put your hand up. Who likes what about gummies? <laughs> see, uh, you know, there's two things. You have to make a choice sometimes. Another one. Ah, oh, you like, you say, I'd say, Victor, I don't like either of those choices. Well, sometimes you may not like either, but you've got to make a choice, don't you? All right, what do you got here? Broccoli and cauliflower. I like both of them. But the question is, who likes, who likes cauliflower better than broccoli? And who likes broccoli better than cauliflower? Oh, that's a bit of a split one there. 50-50 down the room. Okay, that's another choice. Well, you know the most important choice you're going to make though? So we make a lot of choices in our life. But it just comes down to what we like better. But, you know the most important choice we're going to make, like we talked about in our verse? How long hold you between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal and follow him. Which choice are we going to make? You say, Victor, why would I make the choice to follow Baal? Why would I ever do that? Isn't that silly? And you know, sometimes every time we disobey God, we are making a choice, aren't we? When we don't, we don't obey our parents. When we don't be nice to each other. When we don't have a good attitude. We don't think we're making this choice. or well, this one. But we are by doing that. Okay, so it's not just about which one you like better. Sometimes you go, oh, if I decide who I was going to like better, of course I want to go with God. I don't want to go with Baal. But sometimes in our daily actions, we show which one we're actually choosing. So we need to make sure who are we going to choose. Are we going to choose this one? This one? Yeah, we're going to choose the Lord, aren't we? Okay, so we've got to choose our team. Make sure you choose the team of Jesus, Team J. <laughs> All right, so let's read our verse once again. First Kings chapter 18, verse 21. And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? If the Lord be God, follow him. But if Baal, then follow him. And the people answered him, not a word. All right, so choose your team. Make sure you choose the right team. All right, so we're going to play some games today. Katarina's got some games for us, so we'll go over here. Make sure you're paying attention, please. <laughs> 